Right, with the ongoing fire danger being faced by firefighters across the area. With the heat that we have had through the holiday, we are getting a better idea of just how busy area firefighters were. Our Brian Burns joins us now with some of those answers in our top story. Brian. Well, Leslie, we've had heat advisories through the weekend and along with burn bans and fireworks bans, you might expect that local fire crews were especially busy. Emergency Services District Number 2 did respond to this grass fire caused by fireworks at Starry Road in Yorktown, but ESD2 officials say it was out in 30 minutes and there were no injuries. We also checked with City Fire Chief Robert Rocha about fire and fireworks calls this weekend. We think that it was a light year uh, in comparison to years in the past. I'm happy to say that there were no structure fires uh, as of now that were caused by fireworks. We did get eight calls of service, a variety of different types. The majority of them were brush fires. In other words, fires caused by fireworks caught some brush on fire. Firefighters were able to get to the scene in a timely manner and get the fires out. Rocha did tell us the siding on one home was scorched by fireworks, but again, only minor damage. He did tell us fire danger remains high. It's still dry out there. If the humidity drops any, that'll add to the uh, complexity of, of uh, the situation. So we just but it does look like we dodged a bullet with any overwhelming brush fires or much else caused by the fireworks in the way of damage. But remember, the summer is only just beginning. Leslie, Mike. Good point there. All right, Brian. Thanks. And of course.